A very warm welcome to another episode of Fauza's Diary. If you are looking for something little and yet inspiring, then you have stumbled upon the right show. That's the beauty about my diaries. They inspire us, they encourage us, but also they make us think. Joining me today on this conversation is a sister friend all the way from Romania, but she's joining me right from United Arab Emirates, Dubai, Adriana Kretoru. Welcome to Fauza's Diaries, and thank you so much for saying yes to sharing your testimony and for being here with me today. Please take a little bit of time and tell us a bit about you and what you do. Uh, so good morning. Uh, first of all, thank you for inviting me to this podcast. It's my honor and my pleasure to be here. I'm very, very grateful. Uh, so yeah, my name is Adriana. Um, I have been living in Dubai for the past eight years. Um, I'm an artist and a hydration expert. Um, and I am very focused on the nutrition, um, uh, sports, and yeah, and all this. <laughs> <laughs> that is so beautiful, uh, Adri. And I think you... Uh, you know, I remember meeting you a few weeks ago. You are so bubbly, you know, and I just loved your energy and zeal to life. But also based on our quick conversation during that, uh, um, you know, event that we were all together a um, few weeks back, you know, I realized that most of your talks, you um, you are so intentional. And one of the thing that I took away on that day on our conversation uh, you know, when I was signing um, my book to you, Transform Pain to Freedom, you said something to me that there is no mindset to, to be successful in life. Everything, everything is God. God said. <laughs> yes. Why, why so? Why, why such a motto? I mean, it's, it's a beautiful uh, statement it's a beautiful positive and poignant and you know knowing that everything it has to be from god you know what what, what, what what's your um what's what's the story behind it okay so uh coming from a christian orthodox family i did grow up um uh, with god within me and around me so mm. i have been educated regarding God's grace and his power in our lives, if we mm -hmm. ask for help uh, every single day. And uh, let's put it in simple words, even for those that perhaps they do not believe in God mm -hmm. or in the, in the presence of God. Everything happens in accordance with God's will. The fact that we are here today also is a God. Absolutely. Um, uh, the fact that we uh, have a family, it's also because God allowed us to. That we are healthy, that we live on this planet, that we enjoy the beautiful experiences, that we can speak uh, different languages, even though this was not our mother tongue. Um, that we all come from different countries, and we yet we are here in Dubai, and we can enjoy this multicultural environment. Mm -hmm. uh, that we can create together and uh, be... Um, um, of contribution and expansion for each other yeah so is this god lives within us this is what i think we just have to allow him and believe him and ask for help <laughs> absolutely I, I i too believe you know as a follower of christ i believe that you know god never does anything by accident you know it was purposely divinely orchestrated for us to meet you know yeah so that you can be here on Fauza's diary on a, such a day, on a, such a time. And I remember before we went live, you said that, you know, this is your first interview. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And I am, you know, and I'm so grateful, honestly. And I feel, I feel, I, I feel really joy, joyous and joyful when I actually do these conversations with other people because, what I believe, Adri, it's when you share your testimony, 
your journey is different, my journey is different, but when someone hears your story, it will encourage them and inspire them you know their hope will be renewed and their faith will be will be you know will be strengthened that's 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 the beauty about this these diaries of mine honestly and you know um yeah what what a joy to have you on on today's show um adriana and um your vision and you know your motto about who god is it's so powerful he is omnipresent he's sovereign god and you know he's he's everywhere he's the same yesterday today and forever i think i love what you said uh, it's so powerful um i want us maybe to talk a bit about your journey you know in romania how is how has it been for you growing up in you know you know in romania you know because many people they will see you now and see your glory for now but you know you you've had you've had to navigate to navigate your way and one of the things you often you know um you you've talked to me about is you know the emphasis on using your god-given talents to create financial independence talk to us about that Adri. okay so uh going back to uh my education and uh, my country origin. Uh, so I, I was born uh, in southeast of Romania by the Black Sea in a city called Constant. Uh, I had wonderful teachers throughout the journey. I went to a beautiful university where I uh, engaged with amazing teachers and colleagues that I'm still friends with uh, until now. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm very grateful for the education I received and for how it broadened my mind. Um, also, I'm holding an English major, uh, which is one reason for which I am able to speak English right now <laughs> among other languages. So everything has helped me and my curiosity and my desire for um, uh, success and sharing my journey with others and for improving people's life wherever I might go, wherever life might take me, has taken me here today. And talking about financial independence, um, uh, through my journey, uh, everything was related to that. Uh, mm -hmm. I was working uh, as a nursery teacher back home, uh, and uh, that was a wonderful experience for me. It taught me so much about children, how pure they are, and how intentional and present they are as well. Mm -hmm. Further down the line, um, um, I developed my uh, little business as um, an artist and I'm also a hydration expert where right? I teach uh, people about the importance of hydration in our life and why is it that so many diseases occur. It is exactly because of lack of proper hydration and because our body um, falls in an acidic state rather than an alkaline state where mm -hmm. um, our bodies can can uh, thrive. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. So these are some of the, uh, the important aspects for me in financial independence. Hmm. So, yeah, that is a beautiful journey. And uh, you know, um, when I was going through your 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 bio, you had highlighted a lot of things. And one of the emphasis, you know, you you keep on saying is that, you know, God has blessed each one of us with talents. How can you use them, you know, to to serve others, but also, you know, to honor those calling, that calling and, you know, and utilize your gifts and talents. Why do you think, Adri, that, you know, honoring our gifts and talents is so important but how did you how there are some people who they don't even know what they're gifted with you know mm. because for some people it comes easy some people have had to navigate a few things but I know you have had to do a few things for you to get to where you are what, what will be your 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 say on that okay so I would say uh, first of all, uh, when people are trying to uh, figure out what is it that they might be good at, 
they should uh, take some time for themselves to sit down with themselves in silence yeah. and just think about what are the things that they are good at. Also, mm -hmm. what might be the things that they desire to do or they are very interested in mm -hmm. and uh, they could um if they would do more about it if they would acquire more knowledge about it they will become very good at it so i would say first of all figure figure out what you would like to do in your life is um just thinking about what is important for you and mm -hmm. don't think from your mind try to think from your soul because mm -hmm. <laughs> that is so important. We go with the mind. We think, oh, I'm going to have financial independence. I'm going to have this and that. But what is the most important? It's to yeah. enjoy. To, to enjoy. And to do it with passion. Mm. Because where focus goes, energy flows. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. With passion, no matter what that is. In my point of view, how my journey started, I was always attracted to colors. Uh, being a Libra, uh, I believe that uh, we as people are very creative and in perhaps in architecture, perhaps in painting, perhaps in interior design or clothing design or writing or anything under the sun related to creativity. Mm -hmm. And why did I choose um, uh, watercolor paintings? Yeah. I just fell in love with the color, the way it runs through the paper and how it creates from nothing, from a tube of paint and a white piece of paper to a piece of art. Oh. Now that is, that's it. <laughs> yeah, that is creativity. That's, that's, cre that's creativity, uh, you know, in, um, yeah, but also using your imagination. And, you know, when you, I love what you say, that it has to come from your soul, from the heart. Because that's where life is biblical, isn't it? If, you know, that's why the Bible even say of all the things you got, protect your heart, you know? That's where life flows out of it. And it's true. Because sometimes the mind can be deceiving, you know? The, so battle, the battle is always here. The battle is always raging. So when you think and, and you know, do things out of your heart, you know, the guts, you will, yeah, it, it will make a lot of difference. That is so powerful. And so, okay, so so you do um, color art, right? Yeah. Okay. And do you um, do you exhibit here in UAE or back in Romania or where can people actually get to see your work? Yeah. So uh, I'm a current uh, self-taught artist, and right. I have created an Instagram page called the Brush Stroke Wonder. <laughs> yes, uh, where people can see my art, uh, and I'm planning to exhibit by the end of the year, which is also very exciting. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to embrace more opportunities. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That is so beautiful, Andre. And uh, I want us also to talk about um, you. You talked about the alkaline water and how our bodies, you know, get dehydrated. What's the science behind that? Okay, all right. So um, I'm gonna give you a short example uh, and I'll start with a question. Uh, do mm. you know what are the populations that live longer throughout time and why? Um, I think it's Japanese. Correct, that is so true, <laughs> that is so true. <laughs> and I'll tell you why it is because they drink um, ionized, alkalized uh, water, hydrogen water, basically. Uh, and what that what that does to our bodies is uh, it maintains it in a long uh, youth, promotes and prolongs youth, uh, because our bodies, when they are hydrated. Uh, they function at optimal parameters. Whereas, let's look at our everyday life. Um, uh, we drink water, not from a well, as I used to, for example, from, from back home where I grew up. Yeah. Yes, we me drink, too. We drank water from the river. Exactly, exactly. How fantastic was that? Yeah. How amazing was that? Yeah. Uh, in these modern days, 
um, it is it seems cheaper, however, not healthier to drink bottled water. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, we are testing water, um, mm -hmm. and it seems like most of it is in an acidic state. Right. Now, the only water for me that worked so far and that can resemble um, uh, the properties and that feeling of, of satiation mm -hmm. uh, so far is Kangen water. Like, it used to be back in childhood when I was drinking water from a well that was rich in hydrogen, um, uh, would hydrate my body and so on and so forth. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, uh, if people do not take care of their bodies, unfortunately, this is how diseases occur. Because why? Our bodies uh, remain in an acidic state, uh, cancer-causing problems might occur, um, kidney stones, um, anything under the sun, you name it. And so it is, I believe that it is our responsibility to right. look, our, uh, look after our body because it is our temple. Yes. Yeah. I'm going to take care of this body of mine because it's the temple of the Holy Spirit. It is, indeed. Thank you. Thank you for teaching us. You've taught me something new today that I, you know, I'm grateful that. That's why we have these diaries, isn't it? It's to learn from each other, you know, because, you know. You're an inspiration as well. Thank you so much. For you know, that. it's, uh, yeah, it's, we, we don't know everything, do we? No. And when I hear you speak, I learn from you. When you hear another person speak, you, you know, you learn from them. So that is, that is, that is something to ponder and to think about. And also, I love what you say that we need to take care of our bodies because our body is the temple of God. Um, there is something that I was reading uh, on your bio as well. You say that, remember that everyone benefits from your happiness. Yeah. You know, when you invest in you, you know, you're not just investing on you, but, you know, the people around you, it also shows with, with the people around you. And, you know, you are such a, a joyful and a bubbly, bubbly person, Adri. Where do you draw your strength from? Because... You, you know, for you to be jolly and happiness, you need your cup. I always say your cup need to be filled so that you can pour. Otherwise you can't pour from an empty cup. So where do you draw, where do you draw from? Mm, that is such a good question. That is such a good question. Thank you for asking me that. Um, so first of all, there are a couple of practices that I do that will help me to maintain myself in an optimal state. Uh, certainly uh, prayers have helped me a lot throughout time. Uh, fasting, uh, meditation, doing yoga, uh, exercising, reading has helped so much that I cannot explain in words. And I'm sure many people can relate to this. Um, and the intention, the intention of knowing and doing what is right for myself and my body in, or, in order to be able to be of assistance and to serve others. Wow. Um, also, I'm doing Reiki, which is uh, another practice that I'm very grateful for, that I have discovered and I have in my life. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, I think it is very important that we ourselves, each of us, take the time and the space to mm -hmm. look after ourselves mm -hmm. and take care of our body, our mind, our soul. Mm -hmm. uh, and only so we are able to pour, as you said, from a field cup. Yeah, 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 yeah. That is so true, you know. And uh, I love what you say that, you know, your cup needs to be filled and we need to take care of ourselves. We need to take care of our body, our mind, our hearts, everything, because our body is the temple of God. Um, you also say that you are what you do. And all those actions make you stronger and more rooted within your soul's divine grace. Talk to us about that. 
we are the result of our actions, that's for sure. And uh, so whatever I have done yesterday, it is shown today. And yeah. whatever I do today will show uh, perhaps in the near future, perhaps further down the line, it all depends on goals. So mm -hmm. that's where goals is very important on all aspects of life. I do agree that sometimes God knows better and has a better path for us rather than our own. Yeah. And however, we should have a map, we should draw a map for our uh for our life mm -hmm. and should set some intentions and take action continuous educated action towards achieving those goals. so do so you believe okay do you believe in the power of vision boards oh yeah <laughs> big time <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> I do, I do. I'm not holding one, but I am working on one. Right. <laughs> also, yeah. affirmations are very important, I find. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Thank you so much, Adriana. And uh, what would be your last advice to a girl in Romania, in the same place where you grew up, who might stumble this conversation today and say, oh, she is my own. And there she is, not just in Romania. Yeah, I want you talk. Yeah, I want you to talk to a Romanian girl today. Okay. okay. What would you tell her, even a Romanian boy? Uh -huh. So first of all, I would say uh, they should be, uh, and I'm sure they are grateful with their education, their. Mm -hmm. um, uh, the the country they were born in, uh, the experiences they had so far, because they built them to yeah. whom they are today. Uh, they should be grateful to God and uh, should always trust themselves be, and set up goals for themselves because God has so much to offer us. We just and also take. Um, uh, steps towards achieving what we want with intention mm -hmm. and uh, with faith. Wow. This they hide you. They hide <laughs> you. They hide you. They hide you. And yes, you are here on earth on a, such a time for a bigger purpose than you can even imagine yourself. And like what Adriana says, you know, be grateful, count your blessings, and let your cup be half full, not half empty. And yes, in this life, we will have trouble. But that's when Jesus says, but fear not, for I've already overcome the world. So that alone is an assurity for you and me, you know, to live bold knowing that he who created us is bigger than our circumstances, than our problems, than COVID, than the job losses, than the economy, you know, because he is still holding everything on the palm of his hands. And I really pray that, you know, this conversation will trigger something within you and that you will do something about it instead of, you know, sitting and feeling sorry and, you know, victimizing yourself. All right. Thank you so much, Adriana, for joining me on this conversation. Yay. And for sharing your testimony with us today. That's the beauty about these diaries. When we share our stories, it enlightens us, it's encouraging, it inspires us, it gives us hope, and our faith gets to be renewed also. So, yeah, um, unless you have something else to share to our audience, Adriana, our time is almost up. Okay, so uh, once again, thank you very much for the invitation. It has been a pleasure to be here and to have conversation with you and to share this with the world. I do hope some will find it inspiring and um, yeah. yeah. <laughs>
Thank you so much, Adriana. And for you, my viewers, if you haven't gotten a copy of my book, Transform Fear into Freedom, I would love to encourage you to get a copy of the book because I tell you, it's inspiring some people, not just some, many people so far already. If you're in Dubai, you can get it at Kinokunya in the Dubai Mall. Uh, you can also buy with the links below or even on Amazon. Dot com. Well, COVID is still here, so let us be careful. Let us uh, be, yeah, let us put on our mask. Let us all be responsible. Take care. Don't forget to share. Don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you guys soon with another inspiring conversation just like this one. Stay safe, and I will see you guys soon. <laughs>